20th century, there was a major flood, and and what, that helped change the course. So the Army Corps of Engineers at the time decided to uh, channelize the Alley River in response to uh, the flood risk that they feel. And now I feel like we're in the 21st century, and we again have the opportunity to change the course of the Alley River. And, and what's exciting for me. I'm a little less on the ecological side, uh, so I know a little bit about native plants, but for me, I interact a lot with the, the, the organizations and leaders that are working to transform this river, which George and LA River Expeditions is a part of. What was it, 20 or 30 years ago, an artist by the name of Lewis McAdams said, this is the LA River, and he wrote a poem. And uh, they proclaimed it as artists that this was a 40-year art project to revitalize and restore the Alley River. Now, what is it, 20 years later, we're about halfway there. I'm estimating on my times. But now we have more than one lonely band of artists that are, are working to transform this river. We have, we have leaders. We have institutions. We have nonprofit organizations. We have government agencies. We have uh, some private companies even that are getting in on this. Is any, has anybody heard of any people or organization working to transform this river? Uh -huh, yes, the LA River Revitalization Corporation. This is a, a new organization that has been created uh, and their, their sole focus is to find pieces along the LA River to redevelop them, to transform them into greener more ecologically friendly places, but also combine it with some good development that's going to make the quality of life in the city better. Any other organizations you think of when you think about transforming the LA River? Friends of the LA River. There's Friends of the LA River. So this is the organization that the artist Louis McAdams and others founded. And they do annual cleanups, they do advocacy, they do education. They were one of the earliest organizations to advocate for a different vision uh, around the Alley River. They convened a group of people 10 or 15 years ago to an, do an initial visioning process. We envision the Alley River could be green. We envision it could be full of parks. That later inspired the city of Los Angeles to launch a subcommittee, a city council subcommittee on the Alley River that was charged with creating a very detailed master plan. That planning process took a couple years. Now the city has this relatively visionary plan for how to transform the LA River. So the city's involved now, organizations like Friends of the LA River are involved. And it's interesting that art can be a way to engage folks with the LA River. So, you know, how do we change the course of the river? How do we inspire people to get to know the river? Art's one way. Kayak expeditions is is another way, and in a way, George, you're an artist <laughs> for making this happen. Because you're inspiring us to see our own place in a, in a different way. And just the, the thing I would say in closing, uh, well, two things. One is uh, my dad and I were actually talking uh, on the way here. My grandfather moved to Atwater Village, which is a little further downriver during the Depression. He grew up by the Alley River. He grew tomatoes along the Alley River, speaking of things to grow along the river. And so it's not that long ago in our past that people were really engaged with this river, grew food along it, recreated in it, and I uh, am optimistic and look forward to the day when we can grow more tomatoes along the Alley River, where there's more parks along the Alley River, where we can kayak along the river anytime, where we can swim in the river, and, and that's in the process of happening. And, and, you know, I said it started off, you could say, with one, one lone artist who had a vision, who's inspired a set of organizations, who's inspired other people, who's inspired the city, who's gotten media attention. And now there's more and more folks that know about the river. You being here today includes you in that fold of people and institutions that are thinking about how we can reimagine this river and how we can make it a really great place for the city. So. I'm, I'm not only thrilled that you're all here today, but that now you're part of the, the larger family.